So in this video, we are going to see that enterprise mode list, mode site list manager. Okay, so let's search for it. Enterprise site mode list manager. So is this one? No, that should I. Schema two. Let's get this one. Download and run it. Install. Yes. Finish. I might need to run my server as well. Let's get that going and if you remember we put that in the task uh, bar pin to task uh, bar it's right here uh, if you remember from the uh, other video so it should be in here it's saying new enterprise site mode list manager and if you see it's tiny saying new and the blue so you click on it you enter start it and then you can add the URLs <clears throat> so and then validate URL clear list bulk add from file like if you have a file I believe it's will be a CVS file save to XML import or an export so it's pretty easy I'm gonna go with google.com and add it says the URL notes about URL if you want to type some notes ie8 enterprise mode 7 11 document mode whatever you want so we can keep the uh, i8 enterprise save it so now it's added here let's try adding yahoo.com as well we added an Internet Explorer 8 enterprise or whatever you can change it to 7 you can change it to i11 document mode or you can do it the default mode you click save and it's added as well and then you can add another one from here uh, Google oh, that was replaced so you have to add from here you can do the default save yes so it's what's happening that's the URL add it Yahoo and that's the search one it's okay oh, okay now they are there <coughs> So that's how you add them <clears throat> and once added you can export it save to XML so what happens is that you save this file to um, on your server and then you go and add in the group, group policy you go to a specific that I, I had written down basically you have to go to computer configuration policies administrative templates and windows components and then microsoft edge in microsoft edge there will be enterprise site list something and you add the value there the value is that where you save this so i wanted to try it that's why it's a trial and error video let's do that uh, that's why i ran my uh, site uh, sorry server so we can save the file on the server and the reason I'm saving it on server because server um, are always on so make it a practice that if you you have a file server use, use that for uh, saving files not the local machine like if the local machine is off then yes you technically you can do that but what happens is if they they can't access the file they cannot implement it so let's go save to XML 
and we want to save it on, on our server so there are two ways of doing saving directly on the server or you could save it uh, locally and then copy paste it over there so I want to save it on e volume and let's say USMT no we call it enterprise site ESM L so we want to save it over here and then let's do this see if we can go over there uh, if I type server 19 does it take me there no windows cannot access server up is up and running now it's on so you can go there you could uh, put server 19 and then you have USMT there but not the SML because it's not shared yet <coughs> that's why you cannot see it so you can change the properties let's try this can we save it directly and an XML file like slash ESML and then site sites and try to save it will it save there or will it error out nothing here cannot access because that is not shared so let's share it let's everyone have the permission Fly, okay okay and now try to save it cancel cancel go to refresh it now we should have ESML here and then we can save it the file here and verify the file is there <clears throat> now the easy part has been done we save we this is the uh, one user uh, whoever he had the task of uh, creating the site list and bring it into enterprise mode and save it on the server they've done their part now a system administrator they can go and implement the policy well the same user could if they had access through the rset tool probably so let's try the computer configuration we have to get to the group policies so for group policies let's uh, run uh, this one <coughs> this is user group group there is the group policy management this one I'm guessing <coughs> local group policies modeling domain controller So let's try that. The group policy management and in your domain, create a GPO in this domain because we don't have another one, uh, a an existing one to link. So we're gonna 
name it enterprise side mode list manager and click OK and see where it is. So everybody has this policy applied to. And what are the values like? We need to be able to add the values here. Status details. Detect now. to go here or here modeling enterprise side modelist right here and then what we can do edit and then policies software settings I believe uh, administrative template right there and then you have to go to Windows components, computer can and Windows components, yes. <coughs> and in Windows components, it should be Microsoft Edge. Uh, Edge user interface. This Internet Explorer is right there. Microsoft secondary account. So for users, policies, Windows components, user experience at Internet Explorer, Edge user interface, still no Microsoft Edge, <coughs> Windows settings, let's say in settings. could be in software setting installation policies is right here so in policies admin, administrator templates windows components administrator templates windows components right here I think we should be able to add a new one here. And that's the user interface. Let's go in Internet Explorer setting then. Enterprise. So again, I had to resort to docu documents.microsoft.com. I use this heavily. Uh, so basically, it was use the inter enterprise. I was searching by enterprise, no, use. And I did find it use the enterprise list. And you have to edit this one. And for this, you enable it and then enter the URL here. So what's going to happen is um, on my server, the is in eDrive in ESML site.xml oh. so let's go here 
put sides right there and let's copy this so let's do this uh, as so one line slash So we have to copy or this address and so this one we need to copy and paste in here that's the value type the location of enterprise mode i website list so the list is this one so th we have to put it like in this format we can pull so click ok now this value has been added if we click on edit we see the value is there so we can exit out of here and exit and then we have to um, i believe to see it in action we have to run the gpu in uh, force it so we can first try logging out of here sign out uh, each time you make any changes and they are not taking an effect you have to sign out and then re-sign back in but th those are the for the policies that apl are applied to user <coughs> so let's see if it works if not then we have to force the GPU update policy so in essence what it should do is if I open the website in here it should automatically launch uh, in uh, Internet Explorer so that's not happening let's see Google all right I think that was the policy update like when a bunch of CMD ran so let's exit out here let's load let it load fully so let's enforce it as well if we click right click on our policy it's not enforced the other one uh, map drive let's uh, see so let's enforce it enforce basically push out the update and it's enforced now and we can click here run a cmd command here I probably need to run it as elevated so let's see in the run at admin GP update slash force oh GP update slash it's updating It's gonna give me the command command prompt now. Let's try it. See if it works or not. Nope, it it's not because uh, we are playing it in Edge, and we did not apply the policy to Edge. That's why it's not working because we cannot find Edge in server. So so that's the reason that it's not working in Edge. Um, So for forcing edge, you can go to local uh, policy and enforce it. But you know that's not very. We wanted to do it from the server uh, because uh, from the local, uh, uh, you have to go to each computer and enforce it. So I'm thinking that you can install edge on the server and then do it. But server normally they have Internet Explorer. Uh, from it so that's why let's uh, close this one out but that's how you enforce it or that's how you use the site uh, enterprise mode list and then all of the uh, uh, enterprise uh, device uh, they automatically switch to Internet Explorer 11 when a site needs to be compatible 
we could use this one like more tools open with Internet Explorer and in essence that will happen rather than open in here it will open in Internet Explorer it will switch browser so that's it for this video if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next one